Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Gurka. Today we're making ikapiri. It's basically a sweet and sour, spicy sweet, uh, deep fat fried squid. But before we have a look at all the ingredients we have on the board here, do me the huge favor, if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode comes out. But now, let's have a look at the board. We have our squid. I'll show you how we'll deal with them. Unfortunately, you don't get fresh squid in Switzerland. They've been frozen. But should work just as well. Almost. Uh, we have some sesame oil, some soy sauce, some rice vinegar. We have a bit of um, maple syrup some gochujang paste, some black sesame seed, that's just for the end to sprinkle on top. We have here gochugaru, sugar, white pepper, salt and garlic. And we'll start by making the sauce, and it's really easy. We'll grab the cloves of garlic, and we have three gram, uh, three grams, 10 grams of gochugaru, 30 grams of sugar, I would say probably two good pinches of white pepper and two good pinches of salt. We put all of that in. We just grate our garlic up quickly. Now we'll get that in as well. Our 40 grams of gochujang. I already measured this up, so don't worry too much about the scale yet. We're gonna need that later. Thirty grams of maple syrup. And now we need to sear it out. We we'll start with the rice vinegar. We need sixty grams. Forty grams of soy, so we're gonna have to reset, so it's just gonna be a hundred. And fifteen grams of sesame oil. So we can get rid of the scale. We'll get rid of the sesame seeds as well. I will mix this up. Need to mix it a little bit so that the sugar dissolves and everything is a nice kind of diluted mixture. As always, we'll give this a try. Perfect. So that's basically our sauce. We're going to leave it in this bowl because afterwards when we're done with the squid, we're just going to stick them in here, coat them, and then serve them. So just put this to the side. And the next thing we need to do is to prep the squid. And one thing I forgot to show you as an in ingredient, you need some kind of starch. Before we deep fat fry the squid, we're going to put it in starch. Now you can use corn starch, potato starch, or rice starch. They all work. So let's get rid of this and get the cutting board out and we'll prep the squid. So now let's get on with this. These have been kind of Cut open all of them. Yeah, all of them. So we'll just get rid of the wings. Get rid of knife. You see, you have to get in with your fingers and kind of lift them off. We need to rinse them with some blue stuff there for some reason. It's like a membrane you just have to peel off. Let's clean this up. So, just so we can use that. But the rest, let's try to just trim it down a bit. Now, obviously, if you have fresh squid, it's a different kind of 
well, it's not different. You need to do the same work, but you need to do more work. You need to take the insides out. You can use the tentacles. You just need to cut it below the eyes and then make sure you take the, it's like a small bird beak that they have inside. You need to take that out as well. And now this will just slice up. I would say something around seven millimeters wide. And that's all we need to do while well, we need to put them in the starch afterwards. But finish off prepping your squid and then I'll show you how we coat them, which is dead easy anyways. So see you in a bit. Now we have our starch. I'm using cornstarch, because that's what I had at home. And now we just toss these in cornstarch. Making sure that they're all individually separated. And that's basically all the prep we need to do. Now we're gonna head over to the stove, get some oil going, and then we're gonna deep fat fry. You want the oil to be 180 degrees. So let's move over there and let's fry these up. So we're up at 180 degrees. Now if you deep fat fry at home like this, just a tip, don't fill it more than a third. And I'm just putting one portion in. Make sure you stir it a bit so that they don't stick together. Because the rest I'm going to fry up later for the family. Now you want to fry them for about four to five minutes. Nice golden color. Stir them every once in a while to kind of get an even color on them. I think these are ready now. We'll take them out on a kitchen towel. And then let's plate this up. Our one portion of squid goes in. And then we just toss this quickly. Lift it up again, let it drip off. I don't want too much marinade. We put it in the bowl. We can get rid of this one. Just clean it up a bit for the photograph. And last but not least, our black sesame. Just sprinkle a bit on top. And that's it, our Ica Beauty. Now let's give it a try. Mm. Can't wait. This is so good. Mm. Still crunchy, although we marinated it in a liquid. Mm. Tender. It's a brilliant recipe that I can take no credit for whatsoever. It's my good friend Eddie from Mochi in Vienna, and they actually serve this as a kind of a starter in their ramen bar in Vienna. So if you want to make it yourself, give it a try. And if you don't want to make it yourself but want to eat it, go to Vienna, to the Mochi ramen bar. Mm. That's it for today. Now you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button. Takes you a second, but it's so valuable to me. And if you're not a subscriber yet, click the subscribe and check the bell icon. I have nothing more to say. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.